Quiet neighborhood has some questions tonight following a series of car break-ins early Saturday morning. According to Pennsylvania State Police, seven cars are broken into along Pelham Road in Harbor Creek, affecting five people and more than $300 taken from the vehicles. Our Tom Kowalski talked with police today. They're offering advice tonight, Tom, on how to prevent anybody from becoming a car break-in victim. What did they tell you? Yeah, well, Mike and Evil Law may sound simple, but usually it's the most effective thing that you can do to make sure that no one takes anything from your car is to make sure it's locked. Now, of course, that both state, poli state police and Erie police say that the majority of car break-ins that they investigate come from not having any locked doors on their cars. And while state police weren't able to confirm or deny if this was the case with the latest spree of break-ins in Harbor Creek, as it's still under investigation, they say there's other ways to minimize the risk of car break-ins. Obviously, use common sense. Don't make yourself an easy target. Uh, if you're going to leave your vehicle for an extended period of time, park in a well-lit area. Uh, make sure your doors are locked, your windows are up and uh, any valuables that you have in the car obviously aren't visible from, from the outside. Now we also spoke with a neighbor along Pelham Drive who says around a year ago uh, this exact same thing happened to her, although she was able to scare the, uh, the assailant away. Now, of course, I have more on this coming up on erienewsnow.com. For now, live up from the studio, Tom Kowalski, Erie News Now.